Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. And what I did here is put together a quick little video on how math and physics are related. Of course, physics is the science of motion and uh, other physical properties. And I actually really love uh, physics. It's really it's such a cool um, topic. If you haven't studied it, studied it, you know, I would certainly put that on your list of future courses that you'd want to take. But um, what I want to do is just very, very quickly talk about acceleration. Okay, so this is a math root video, but I'm going to tie in some physics involved in it. It's not going to be, you know, intense rocket science, but I think it would be fairly interesting. So this is a picture of my son at NASA last year. And um, if you haven't been to NASA in Florida, boy, put that on your list of things uh, to do. It's an amazing uh, place. And... Um, and before you go, by the way, watch that movie Apollo 13. <laughs> it really will pump you up. And when you go to NASA, you'll you'll have such an appreciation for the scientists and engineers that uh, built these rockets. Okay, so let's get back to some math and physics. Now, even if you haven't taken algebra, um, or you know maybe you're in pre-algebra or elementary school, you know, you'll, hopefully you'll actually get something out of uh, this video. So here is a formula. Now, it looks kind of scary. But uh, when I explain it to you, you'll see that it's really not that bad. So I'm just kind of curious, has anybody, you know, seen this formula? Have you recognized this formula? Some of you, I'm sure, know what this means. But what this means is acceleration, or average acceleration, is equal to, now this little triangle thing next to this V means delta, or the difference, okay? You kind of think of it as the change. And the V is velocity or speed. Okay, so it's basically what we're saying is acceleration is equal to delta V over delta T. Another way people write this is delta V over delta T. So, you know, at first blush, you might be like, wow, this is kind of a scary looking uh, formula. But really, when I explain it to you, it's not that difficult of a concept to uh, understand. So the delta V is, is the change in velocity or the difference in velocity or speed, if you think of, uh, want to think of it that way, over the change in time. Okay, so when we measure something like a rocket traveling or in picking up in speed, okay, it's going to start from zero and then really, you know, start going faster and faster and faster. Its velocity is changing, its speed is changing as time is changing. Okay, and that concept, when we look at those two variables together, is acceleration. So let's do a quick little, um, a problem here to illustrate this and and we'll call it a day so let's say this rocket okay it starts from zero miles per hour and it goes to let's say four thousand miles per hour i think that's a reasonable number i'm just kind of making these uh numbers up uh so if some of you out there are actual rocket scientists and i don't get these numbers exactly right please don't penalize me but let's say it went from zero to four thousand miles per hour in 50 seconds okay i think that's pretty reasonable all right, so let's see what it's, um, this rocket's acceleration would be under uh, under these circumstances. So, of course, we're going to use our math skills to figure this out. So acceleration would be equal to the difference in velocity. So the difference in velocity is, well, the rocket went from 0 miles per hour to 4,000 miles per hour. So the difference is 4,000 minus 0. Okay, those that's the difference miles in miles per hour. That's the difference in velocity, or delta V. Now, the difference in time is 50 seconds minus 0 seconds, because it started from 0, and it went to 50. Okay, And it went from 0, and it went to 4,000 miles per hour. So once we have this kind of formula built, we can actually determine the acceleration. So it's going to be 4,000, right? 4,000 minus 0 is 4,000 miles per hour over 50 minus 0 is 50 seconds okay so let's clean this up a little bit better so our acceleration would be 4,000 divided by 50 get my little calculator here okay so that's 80 all right so that's 80 miles per hour per second so let's quickly kind of think about what this means so acceleration if you think about it right is how fast something is increasing in speed or um, it could be the reverse too, how fast something is slowing down. So what we're saying here is every second, this rocket is picking up an additional 80 miles per hour. So the first second, okay, it went, it's at 80 miles per hour, okay? 
its second second, it's going to pick up another additional 80 miles per hour. So it's going to be going 160. Okay, so it's really starting to pick up. In the third second, it's going to be doing what? 240 miles per hour. And then if you just kind of keep extrapolating down, in its 50th second, it's going to be going 50 times 80, which is going to be, uh, of course, our answer, our original um uh, information it's going to be 4,000 miles per hour so hopefully uh, this little quick little video was interesting to you I mean the thing about it is I want to tie this in with the power of math and why um, you want to learn math um, yesterday I got a uh, uh, an email about somebody saying you know you know I study math but I really don't see any practical real life application and you know whether you're going to unless you're going to be an engineer or using this stuff and you know maybe maybe that's true to some degree but there are so many applications to math it's just it's a it, there's just an infinite um, number of circumstances where we use them but even math that looks pretty challenging is really you know once it's explained to you it's not so intimidating you know um once you learn it okay and although the symbols at first glance might be a little intimidating Really, it's the, the concepts behind it are fairly simplistic. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you want to uh, watch more, more of my videos, uh, follow me on YouTube or come on over to tabletclass.com and take a free trial. Have a great day.